One of the things we don't know about a lot of migrations is just how they take place. We know from studies of geese and elephants and elephant seals and wildebeest that you know, the predominant animals that are migrating have made the migration before and they're leading the young on these migrations. In the case of the monarch butterflies, there's no older ones leading the young to these overwintering sites. There are at least three to four generations um, between each of the migrations. So all of the butterflies that are making this migration have never been there. How do they navigate? How does a butterfly coming out of Maine know how to get to Mexico? What they are programmed to do is follow and respond to certain physical cues. Now the trick for us is to try to figure out what are those cues. This is something that is done individually by each of these butterflies and not in a sense of knowing but in a sense of responding to physical aspects of the system that are changing in concert each year and they're responding to these in a way that has the effect of getting them to this overwintering site. And then they respond in the spring in a way that reverses the process and gets them back to where they need to breed. Now that is just wonderful and it's unique and it is just challenging us to try to figure out how it's all done because we don't have a good sense of how organisms pick up these physical cues of a changing environment in fall and spring and translate that into signals that modify the gene expression that drive the system. If we can understand all of those things, we will have gone a long way to understanding how organisms are responding to really subtle things that happen around all of us as we go through the seasons.